Hi students, today we're going to look at your Alex path. So from your homepage, you're going to go to the left hand side and you're going to, if it says continue my path, you can click there. Otherwise, you're going to go up to the top left, the three bars over here and then go to learn. Let's go continue with my path. So this is what your path looks like. Your path is going to give you the option at the top to look at. So this is what you're ready to learn. These 61 topics for, for me, and they are broken down and gives you each one. So if you want to target something, so let's say you want to, you're in class and you're working on linear equations. So you can go to the linear equations pie slice. All right. And click on that. Um, let's go. So you can you can kind of pick and choose as you go through which tasks you want to do, or you can just let it uh, choose for you. So once you choose, it'll give you a learning page. So this learning page is where you should have your notebook out. And you should write down what they're doing so that you can apply that to the task. Right, so this one, it asks us to find a term of a sequence and it explains it to you how to do that and the answer. So now on the right hand side over here, there are more resources. So if you go to the video button, there's a supplemental video of finding the nth term click down, there's a dictionary. So you can look up the, it'll be the underlined words. You can look up what those words mean if you don't happen to know. Now this little symbol here means no, calc no calculators allowed. So if it says no calculators allowed, that doesn't mean get out your phone and use your calculator. You should be able to do this without a calculator. Okay, once you're ready, you go down to the bottom, and you can click start and then you're into it. Okay. So again, so find the seven. So this one, find the 70, 70th term. We look, we're supposed to do it without a calculator. We do have access to the same video we could have watched earlier and we have access to the dictionary. Now, as you're working through, if you get stuck, you can put in an answer. That's not the correct answer, but you can check and I'll let you try again. Okay, so if you get it wrong twice, it'll give you an explanation. Don't just go past it. Again, read it if it's a different explanation than what you wrote down the first time, or if you didn't write it down the first time, write down the explanation. Um, it wouldn't hurt if you wrote down that exact problem and work that through with them to get the correct answer. Then you can go continue and it takes you to the next question. So that's your Alex path. The Alex path will not give you anything new uh, that you're not ready to learn. Um, and there'll be a video on that, but that's the Alex path. So you can go back to the home page. And if you had learned, if you had completed one of those topics, it would show that up here. And it would also show that under reports. It would have shown that here in the timeline that you learned one. And you can see here, attempted, not learned one. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what the Alex path is and how to navigate within it. Um, the Alex path is there to help you learn and set up uh, that way as best it can. Um, so make sure you're utilizing a notebook to track the examples and track how to solve them. Make sure you're applying those. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.